Third matchup on the blue side. Yesterday, he killed Albus Dumbledore, and he's looking to kick his opponent in the arse. Uh, it's Carson! <laughs> and his opponent on the red side has murdered 30,063 minions this year. 100 more could do it for him. Victory comes for Smith! <laughs> Winner takes all. Have at it. I just love how happy Smep is. He's like, I know. Hey, get to play 1v1. Him and Mana are definitely my two favorites uh, of this tournament because Mana is actually just smashing keyboards. He's knocking the camera over. He's it's it's, like, you're trying to watch me? Try again. Yeah, exactly. Smashes it down. And, and anytime someone beats Faker, right? Especially yeah. in a one versus one, like mirror match, it's uh, it's an event. Challenging Faker to, I mean, it's the history of, uh, of All Stars 1v1s, though. Challenge Faker yeah, to yeah, Nivea yeah. 1v1. Done. Challenge him to Yasuo. I think we finally found the way to beat Faker, and I think that's why we got rid of Blind Pick in the 15th as well. <laughs> yeah. Can't mirror match him anymore. It's over. Faker's like, uh, guys, we need to get rid of this. Uh, there's a flaw in the system. We saw the crowd lobbying uh, for an Iron Pick. In the feature we had introing this matchup, though, there were rumors of a mirror match. Karsa wanted to play, I think, Yasuo mirror versus Meb as well. That's a Kled locked in. There is a screen, so and they can talk to each other. Yeah, I mean, that did this yesterday as well. He locked in at 35 seconds or something. He's like, you know what? I don't care that you see my champion. Come at me. And you can see how much Karsa is laughing as well. There may be a rearrangement here that they have already agreed on. Karsa has been also, you know, really good sport. He's been he's been up for anything. He was the one where Draven trading level one there. They just test out if you can catch each other's axes uh -huh. and then decide to go back, even though they've got the advantage. Really fun mechanics, the fact that you can actually double axe with a Draven. <laughs> They're obviously playing for quite a bit at stake here. Smeb, you're the last player from Team Fire. <laughs> if you lose, Ice is almost guaranteed or pretty much guaranteed to win the tournament. And more importantly, you blind pick the Kled. 35 seconds remaining, having it, blind faith that Karsa will do the same. I gotta say, if you're gonna have all of your hopes for a whole team on one player, it's a pretty good player to choose for it. Uh, and I'm very excited to see uh, the style victory that he's looking for. So we can catch two axes. Can you hop on the, the other opponent's car? Oh, <laughs> can you like fake him out, make him come to you? Yes, Carl, <laughs> this way, this way. <laughs> Get some four snacks out there. <laughs> Uh, let's see, do they even have the same skins? We'll be able to tell them apart here. All right, so there's a Q start on Karsa. Let's see if Smeb has the same. I imagine. I don't think you're going to start anything else here. Yeah, this is the one game I was distracted from the last one. Didn't jump into it. That's fine. So we'll just be spectators. All right, real quick for everybody at home, before the mayhem goes loose, we have really big investment on flat health on the side of Karsa. He is running 100 flat health, 6.3 armor, and then 13 uh, physical damage. He is running 12-0-18, surprisingly. Uh -huh. He's playing Grasp Fled here. So that's a very, very defensive Karsa with a mix in Ferocity. Quickly going over to Smep. His masteries are the same. So these guys are definitely Kled pros. Perfect. And runes. Ooh, vastly different here for Smep. He's running all attack speed, armor, and physical damage. No flat health. Interesting, yeah. So, obviously, you know, flat health is better for the all-ins, but uh, if you're going to grind it out from long trades, the armor is going to provide a lot more value, a lot more effective health over also, the course of a longer match. Doesn't the flat health go to your main character, not the Skarl, the actual, uh, the actual clip uh, part? Everything goes to Skarl. Okay, everything goes to Skarl. Right, so, so if, you can, runes. if you can jump off him, then get back on him. Uh -huh. Then it's more <laughs> valuable, then you get the multi-value. Uh-oh, here we go. Locked into level one combat. Does get the grasp trade. Oh, it's so hard to see what HP these guys are on. All right, we got some skill here. Weaving those, uh, what is it, bear claw, bear trap on a rope <laughs> through the big We're not play-by-plays. Play, so we're just call IQ. <laughs> we didn't get into the game. We can't cheat like normal uh, color. Yeah, normally it's like he's using his uh, hover. Let's go with uh, golden chicken versus, oh, they're all in here. Is he going to exchange? Another grass there for Smeb, and actually the grass is really working out for him. Does have control of the minion wave as well. Mm -hmm. I try to look up the skills, and my browser's in German. So. <laughs> Say it in German then. I'll, I'll accept that answer. Bärenfalle am Style is what he has, so he's actually a bear trap on a rope. Okay. And then uh, we're not going to go for the next <laughs> one. <laughs> this, is a, this is hard mode casting right here. Smeb has actually been the first one to demount uh, his uh -huh. opponent, and uh, Carson's going to have to charge that loyalty back up uh, to earn his strategy here because uh -oh. going down so low. Oh, no. 
was so close to hopping back out, uh, Scarl, and turning it all around. It is a strategy, but Smet just goes in and wrecks him. I know. We were gonna, you know, start talking about the invulnerability frames when you jump off and all those little mechanics and. Uh, it doesn't really matter because Smeb knocked him off so much earlier, then able to go in with the double summoner. 